Thank you all for being here today. <laughs> I'm Dr. Connolly, lead researcher for the Fertility Frontiers Project. This is my brilliant supervisor, Dr. Karen Price. Hello. Nine months ago, we began working with a couple who had difficulty conceiving. But through a process we created called paternal embryonic gestation and an implanted artificial womb, their dreams of pregnancy have come true with one small difference. Please welcome Sandra Matson and her husband, Dad Matson, <laughs> history's first pregnant man. <laughs> Mr. Matson, you just made history. Any comment? Uh, yeah. Uh, anybody have olives and peanut butter? I'm having a really weird craving. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in all seriousness, uh, we feel so blessed that life found a way. Mm -hmm. Now, if we could only find a maternity store with a men's section. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll open it up for questions. Yes. First, congratulations on this remarkable achievement. Dr. Connolly, how does a man give birth? Well, the plan was always been a scheduled C-section. Two weeks from today. But the plan has changed. It has? My team and I now believe that due to the fragility of the artificial womb, the baby must be delivered naturally through Mr. Watson's urethra. What? Who else has a question? I do? Yes, you, sir. Hello there. Uh, just to be clear, the baby will come out of this man's, um, now I'm, I'm sure there's a classy way to say this, but I'm going with pee hole. <laughs> yes, the elasticity of the skin and tissue in that area will stretch to accommodate the birth. Well, hopefully. Hopefully? Yes, uh, picture a bowling ball going through a Twizzler. Oh. <laughs> That's it. We will be prepared for possible tuliping. I'm sorry, doctor, what is tulipine? Oh, I can take this one. Uh, yeah, the best way to describe it is with a Looney Tunes metaphor. So, if you recall when Bugs Bunny would put his finger in Elmer Fudd's gun barrel, yes. when Mr. Fudd pulled the trigger, the barrel would boosh out, peel back like tulip petals, hence tulipping. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, next question. Uh, yes, the woman in the wrinkled skirt. Oh. That detail was unnecessary. Um, <laughs> Mrs. Matson, will you be present in the delivery room? Not anymore, no. Yes, the, the delivery room will be crowded. It will be all hands on deck and a few hands in deck, if you know what I mean. No, I don't know what you mean. Um, and lastly, will Mr. Matson be given the same epidural drugs used on women? Oh, no. Yeah, stronger? Unfortunately, no epidural or pain-numbing drugs can be used as Mr. Watson will need to push at full strength for the full 24-hour long birth. 24 I can't go any faster? Not without significant risk of tuliping. Stop saying tuliping, stop it. Yes, you, sir. Uh, yeah, first off, Mr. Madsen, congratulations, and I'm so sorry. Um, now, how long do you anticipate the recovery process will take? Um... Forever? <laughs> I can't believe no one's asked yet, boy or girl. Um, it, it's a girl, which is good because we have a lot of girl names we like. Well, pick your top three because, surprise, you're having triplets. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Watson, any parting words? I mean, I'm worried about my penis. <laughs> we all are. Thank you.